Diablo 363 here. Um, as you can see in front of me, I'm currently running Unreal Engine 4, and the operating system I'm running this on is Apple iOS, not iOS, uh, it's Apple Mavericks. And this is currently running on a MacBook Pro that I bought, that I bought over the weekend, which is the uh, high-end MacBook Pro 15-inch, so that's 16 gigs RAM, uh, the NVIDIA 750M graphics card with 2 gigs of memory, and it's the processor with the quad core processor with 2.3 gigahertz, but that can be turbo boosted up to uh, 3.2 uh, gigahertz. First of all, just wanted to say that that is a fantastic uh, product by Apple. Really enjoying it, um, and it's lightning fast, which is brilliant. But enough about that. Let's let's carry on about this program. So over the weekend, I also purchased Unreal Engine 4. Now. Up until purchasing this, I'd been using um, UDK, uh, Unreal, which is basically Unreal Engine 3, and I've been using that on Windows, and I eventually, and as I say, this weekend I decided to upgrade. Now, the great thing about Unreal Engine 4 is you can run it on Mac and Windows. Um, I have a, a Windows gaming machine, and that is purely for uh, my gaming, obviously, and that runs um, NVIDIA Sly 780 graphics cards. Um, I've got a quad-core Intel i7 processor, which one I can't remember, but I know it's pretty high-end. Um, th and that machine was built um, by myself. Now, on that, Unreal Engine 4 just works brilliantly. I get no lag. Graphics are really bright and vivid and in your face. Um, but running the program on my Mac, I can definitely start to tell um, that it, it, it does seem to battle with it in some ways. It is quite sluggish. Um, I'm going to try and show you here. You can see just by moving the camera around, even it's 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 not really smooth. It's sort of laggy. And hopefully, this is the kind of stuff that they will fix up with um, future updates. Because uh, it, it is it is quite a pity. Uh, it it doesn't make it really then that easy to work on a Mac. It's still easily doable. If you don't mind putting up with the lag. Um, but yeah, hopefully that's something they'll fix up. And another thing that's kind of bothered me a bit um, is that. I've been working on a project um, on my Windows machine, and I'd brought it in to onto my Mac to try and run a chair. Now this is a bit of a problem because when I go here and I go to File Open Level, and I go to my Maps, uh, sorry, just go to Downloads where it is. You can that's the name of the um, level there. It's called My Level Bra dot UMap, and it's converted it to a text file, and it's basically blocked out. I cannot open it, and that is a bit of a pain. I would love to be able to basically do my work on my Windows machine and when I go to university or I'm away or something, I can simply just upload that file to Dropbox, re-download it and get to work straight away. Now if there is a way to do that, hopefully somebody will point me in the right direction, but as far as I'm aware and I've searched all over and forums and all sorts, and of course Google, um, it doesn't seem possible at the moment. Now that is something I really hope that Epic Games uh, fixes and allows us to be able to do that if it is possible. Uh, besides that, let's, let's, um, let's, let's start adding things to this level here. This is just a basic level that you can start up with. But uh, what we're going to want to put in here, so let's put in some um, particles. I'm just going to put the searcher for particles in the um, little search engine there at the top. Let's throw in some sparks. I'm just going to place that there. And another one there. Another one there. As you can tell, it runs pretty fluid. I mean, it's it, it's not like something that you're you're going to battle with to see, or it's going to be um, you know really disjointed or something like that. But keep in mind, guys, this is the high end MacBook Pro. So on a 13 inch, I doubt this would be possible. You'd really be struggling along. Um, so let's put some smoke there. Let's put a bit more smoke around there. And let's just I'm just going to try and add, you know. A little bit here and there, just to try and get the graphics sort of going. Um, there we go, a bit more smoke there. Put that there. And let's go to play. Let me, let me just mute that, because otherwise, when I shoot, it sounds something like this. So let's mute that, we don't want to hear that. Um, okay, so. As we can see, it, the graphics are still pretty vivid, but they are a tad laggy when I start running around. So this may not be, as I've mentioned earlier, the best environment to work on, but it's definitely easy, uh, easy to do should you um, be on the travel 
or you know go to Starbucks and you can just work on it there or, or really work on where, wherever floats your boat um, but that's the main main problem for me and that mixed with the ability that I cannot now take this file and open it up on my Windows machine when I get back home does sort of bug me a bit and that's really something I, I, I want um, hopefully if it is possible to be changed with that all said and done guys hopefully this gives you a, a good indication um, as to what Unreal Engine 4 is like on the Mac uh, I'm no doubt this would run a lot um, cleaner and smoother on the iMac with 4 gigs of um, graphics power but this isn't too bad for now it's it's really perfect um, and it's it definitely gives me something to do while I'm away or on a plane or something it's a it's it's not going to affect you that much with that said then guys uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe if you have any questions feel free to ask me and yeah I don't mind doing more videos on Unreal Engine um, to do with the Mac I know there's tons already for the Windows machine uh, so there's not, there's not much need for me to do something like that but if you've got any questions about it or about it being able to run it on a Mac let me know and yeah don't forget to comment like and subscribe cheers guys bye bye